guys, it's Dave of My Freedom Smokes. Today I'm gonna talk to you about a new product we just got in from Coilmaster, is the 521 Plus Tab. Um, if you're not familiar with 521 Tab, 521 is um, a build station, an ohm reader, and also a little device you can use to test fire your coils that you've built. Uh, they also give you a little voltage checker to kind of check the resistance, or the voltage of like an Ego battery or something like that, so you can kind of see the voltage is actually putting out. Uh, this one's really big. I mean, it's definitely earned its plus name compared to the original 521 tab. Uses uh, dual or single 18650s. You can put one or two in there in the bottom. Uh, they're not included with it. You will need to supply your own. And it does have USB charging on there. Uh, cool thing about it, like I said, is a lot of ohm readers, it just checks your ohms. This one allows you to test fire your coils. And if you really wanted to, you could even vape off the thing if you, uh, when you're actually firing it. A nice big 510 section there in the center. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put my apocalypse on here and, and read the resistance on it and then uh, show you how it test fires and how everything looks when it's actually on. Uh, so right now I got these coils in here. On the device they're reading 0.32 uh, ohms. So we'll just kind of test the accuracy against the iJoy here and uh, just kind of see where they're reading. So I'm gonna put it on the 521 plus tab pop the cap open here. Now they have a little switch here in the front. Um, when you flip this side in, you see everything lights up blue. It's ready to check my resistance. If I switch it all the way to the other side, it lights up red and that's where you test fire. Um, when it lights up blue, um, there's a little screen here at the bottom just above the switch. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it actually says that it's reading a 0.34 right now. Um, so it does give you your resistance and also shows you battery indicators for your 18650s on that screen as well. All right, so we know we got 0.34. Let's go ahead and uh, switch over to the fire mode. And again, it still shows your resistance there, but it has like a little pipe logo and it says 0, 0.0 watts. So it actually shows real time wattage what it's going to fire for you when you fire this thing. So I'm going to kind of set it up here. Get that box closed real quick. And the way this fires is you just press down around the sides. You see it just gives it a second. And that way if you're building your coils, you can kind of hold that down, you know, and you can play around your coils and work out any hot spots you may have in them. And uh, I mean, it's really fire in there. I mean, you can actually, like I said, vape on it if you really wanted to. I mean, it's not designed for that boat. I mean, you're vaping off your own reader at this point. But uh, 521 tabs, I've liked using these style ohm readers because I like being on a fire. I mean, nowadays most of the mods have built-in resistance uh, ohm readers and stuff like that. But this is really good for building for a mechanical mod or something like that when you really need to make sure you know your resistance and you don't necessarily have a readout on your device. Um, it's always good for battery safety. You want to make sure you're working within a safe resistance range for the batteries you're using. So ohm readers come in real handy for that. Okay, some of the other little features this guy has, like I said, it does have the voltage checker. And that just kind of plugs in with the two prongs into the holes there. And then you can thread a 510 on there and it gives you a real-time voltage of what's coming off your batteries uh, and your device or like an Ego style battery or something like that. Uh, this one does include also little wires that you can plug in there. And those go into each of these. Just kind of press in. And then they got little alligator clips on the end zone and a little alligator clips, you just pinch them like that and you can grab on and check resistance of uh, other stuff, not necessarily vaping related, or you could always plug it into your leads um, if maybe it's still on a device or something. So kind of hook it like that, and like so. And if you do that, you can still check your resistance that way. So it's very versatile as far as what I can tell. They've come a long way with uh, ohm readers. I know when I first got my first ones, all you could do is plug it up and tell your resistance, and that's all it did. Now that they give you the option to test fire and a lot more readouts and stuff like that, they've definitely, like I said, come a long way. They've come a lot more useful. Um, I guess it's the best way for them to keep up too. Like I said, a lot of devices now have really accurate built-in ohm. Uh, they give you more real-time ohms and stuff like that. So it's nice to have uh, something a little more advanced, especially for people who are still using mechanical devices and need to safely check the resistance when they make a build. All right, well, that's kind of what we have there for you today. Uh, 
kind of quick and simple. I mean, there's not a whole lot we can really say about it. It is a nice ohm reader. It looks nice. Uh, I've been making a joke. If it's going to be something this big that's going to take up a lot of real estate on a desk or something, at least it should look nice. And I think it does look nice. And uh, it works really well. It's pretty accurate. You saw it was like uh, two one thousandths all from what the device itself was reading. So, I mean, that's just another fail, uh, another way to check your resistance, make sure you're super accurate on that resistance. So, between the two of them, I mean, 0.32, 0.34, that's going to be safe for the batteries I'm running there. And that's what it comes down to. You want to make sure you're with battery safety. Put my cap back on real quick. All right, so if you have any questions about the Coilmaster 521 Plus tab, please leave them in the comments below. As always, this is Dave with My Freedom Smokes, and thank you for vaping.